Hello and welcome along to Adobe After Effects with your host Robert Smith. In this video we're going to do a simple fly through. Let's have a look at the finished product. If I click on here, press the space bar and away we go. Now I've sourced these images from the New York Public Library public domain area. So there should be no copyright on these but this is just an exercise. There's no commercial value in this. And as you can see, it's flying through what looks like space, and these images are coming towards you. Now we can make these anything you like. They can be logos, they can be layouts, whatever you like, people. It's just a great way of presenting things. So let's get stuck in. Okay, the first thing I'll do is I'll command tab back to Photoshop. Let's have a look at this file. And here it is here. It's a simple Photoshop file with many layers, with one image on each layer, with the uh, an alpha channel or no background if you like. And that's how it's put together in Photoshop. So let's just come and tab back to After Effects. Now I've already imported it here. Here's all the images here. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so Apple in new composition. 1287 20, 20 seconds long is good. And a black background will do. Okay. So let's grab those images out of the uh, New York Public Library folder like that, select the first one, hold the shift key down and just drag down like that and there they all are. Now what we need to do, we need to create what's called 3D layers in After Effects. Actually they're only 2.5D, that's what they call them, um, because they don't have any extrusion or depth if you like. But let's have a look what that means. And how we do that, I'll just simply drag down here like this, under this cube looking um, item here. Okay, nothing much has happened really, it looks exactly the same, but we now are in a 3D space. And how we see that, for example, I'm going to go over here where it says one view, I'm going to go to two views horizontal like this. We have many views we can look at, like in every other 3D application. So if I click like that, you'll notice on the right hand side we see what's called the active camera. Now we need to change that once we make a camera, but right now that's there's a default camera inside After Effects looking at that scene. And on the left hand side we're looking at it from the top like the bird's eye view if you like okay so what we need to do now is to actually place these things into space and a little in other words along the z-axis now the z-axis is we all know about what x and y is x is horizontal y is vertical but z is towards you and away from you which gives it that 3d look okay having done that what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of these images like that, hold the shift key down, press the letter P for position, like that, and then I'm going to deselect by clicking just there, so each layer is different. Now the first layer, we've got three numbers now, not two, we normally have two on a 2D layer, we have X, we have Y, and then we have Z, which is this third number, and I'm going to select this third number, just type in the word 1000, oh, the, the number 1000 like that, press return, and if I go over to this view over here on the left hand side by clicking on it and go down here where it says 50% um, yeah, let's let's make that 6.25 so we can actually see them. It's a bit small but now you can see one of those images has been placed along the z-axis 1000 pixels. Now the next one will down, we'll select that, type in 3000, the next one 5000, we'll just separate them by 2000 pixels. That sounds a lot, but in 3D space it's not so not so far. So 7,000 for the next one, next one 9,000, and we'll go up a little bit, and the next one we'll make 11,000, um, 13,000 for that, and the last one we'll make 15,000. And as you can see on the right hand side they seem to disappear. But what's happening is they're just going out into space. And if you have a look on the left hand side, you'll see if I just there they all are. Now you really can't see them right now because they're all right on top of each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the top and go to the first number, the X number, and drag that to the right to about there like that. And the next one I'll drag to the left. So I'm just separating them like this into the distance, like that, and the next one. We'll go to the right, behind her, about there, and so on all the way back. We'll just move her across. It helps if you hold the shift key down. They'll move a lot faster, like that. And then I'll just move this one to the left. And now we've got a good um, setup for our camera. 
Okay, so we're using the default camera now. We need to create our own camera. So to do that, I'm just going to press the letter P to close up all those layers. Hold the control key down and click anywhere down here and go for a new camera like that. Now this is one of the most scary dialog boxes in all of After Effects. But we're just going to go with a preset 50mm camera and a one node camera. That's all the thing you've got to check. And OK. Like this. And again, nothing seems to have changed. But now what we want to do, we want to make the active camera on the right hand side like this. If I click on the camera, I'll go to active camera here like this. I want to go to camera one, which is the camera we just created. So now we're using this camera instead of the default camera. And now it's a simple matter of just moving that camera through the images along the Z axis. So to do that, I'll just select the camera and I'll press P for position like that. And I really wanted to start there for a while, so I'm going to put a keyframe for position at that point. Then I'm going to move along to about, about here, about one and a half seconds. And then I'm going to put another keyframe here by clicking over there. So nothing's going to happen between here and there, and that's when it's going to start. Then I'll simply go to the end of my timeline, to the 20 second mark like that. And I'll start to move that camera. As you can see, as I move the the um, Z number, the third number on the camera like that, it zooms all the way through like this. Now I should have moved that guy a little bit to the left. Okay, I can do that later, but you get the idea. It's just flying through. You actually see it on the left hand side over here. So let's watch that in action. If I press the space bar, away it goes. As you can see, they're coming towards us. It's much better than scaling things up. It gives us illusion of 3D. And it's a great look too. And quite easy to achieve. So that's a good idea. You might want to use that in a portfolio situation, whatever. You might want to speed that up or slow it down. You might want to move the camera left and right as it goes through. But that's just the basic operation. Okay, thanks for watching.